Welcome back to the channel legends, I'm on Non Legion TV and today we're going to be doing a new review. We're going to be reviewing Blue Reflection is a role playing game. I quite like role playing games, it's developed by Gustco, I actually, I've never really heard of them, to be honest, before, so uh, that's new for me, but published by Koei Tecmo, which I'm very familiar with, we all know I love Dynasty Warriors by now. Um, it was actually originally released a couple of months ago, not last year, this year, but a couple of months ago in Japan on the PS4 and the Vita, but now it's been released today, hopefully if this goes up on time, September, um, it's going to be on the PS4 and the PC. Now, the main character, there's there's multiple characters as, as there usually always is with these role playing games, but the main character you play as is called Hinako, I think that's how she pronounces it. She's basically a, a ballet dancer, but she's injured a foot or a leg or knee or whatever it is, so she can't dance anymore. But for whatever reason, she's given these uh, magical powers. She's given a ring that allows her to do these crazy fight moves and all this crazy stuff. So the story, like, it, it, it takes on this, like, day cycle thing. So you, like, start out in the morning, getting ready for school. She attends school, and then you do these classes and stuff. And there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of cutscenes, and that's kind of where my main issue comes with this game. But I'll get into that more in a minute. But then... Once you do all these things in in the school and the, the day plays out, you'll get kind of teleported into these other worlds where she can fight and she can do all these moves and you fight the monsters and you have little, you have teammates as well, which are your classmates. You all have this ring that grants powers and that's kind of the main pillar of the story. And as I said, that's my main issue with the game is for me personally, the story does not interest me one little bit. I absolutely could not like be any more any less interested in this story it's about these teenage girls you know like i said they're in a school they do these school things it's very you know typical japanese uh school stuff and it just really did it just really did not interest me in the slightest it's all about like um when a character has these is kind of emotion this thing comes out of them and then that's when you get teleported in to this other world to kind of get rid of those bad emotions, those bad vibes. And I, I just could not get into the story one one bit. Although, the gameplay itself, I do have to say as well actually, there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of dialogue, a lot of story, a lot of cutscenes. And because I just was not interested in all that, it took away a lot for the of the game for me, but the gameplay itself I actually really enjoy. So if you do, if you're going into this and you don't like the story, just know that there is a lot of it, and it is Japanese with English subs. But more on the uh, the battle system. Again, I actually really liked the battle system. It's kind of basic. It gets a little bit more intricate as you level up and get more abilities and stuff. It's turn-based battle. You have your friends with you, as I mentioned earlier, and. The, the more you fight with your, your friends, your classmates, the more abilities you can combine and help each other with support abilities. You know, it has the uh, the usual RPG elements. You level up your character. Every time you level up, you get these growth points, which you can invest into any of the four characters' traits, which is attack, defense, support, and technique. They're the four main stats, and as you level these stats up, Let's just say, for example, there's a skill that allows you to heal. Of course, that's going to require more support, but it also might require a little bit of defense. So let's just say, for example, this skill requires 5 defense and 15 support. So once you reach those criteria, that ability will automatically be unlocked and allow that will allow you to use that skill during gameplay. So you do kind of... You do definitely want like each character to play their own role so they can be best at that in that skill tree. You also get these fragments which again are kind of like the emotion type things of other characters. You can equip those and they give like different stats and different skills and stuff. And also like you get rewards at the end of battles and some missions give extra stuff and you know if you played RPGs you kind of know how this thing kind of works. It's the typical stuff, it's not too complicated. But it's not like really easy either, it's kind of somewhere in the middle, so it's quite accessible. When you're outside of combat though, there is, you can explore, you can explore the other world, the world where the monsters, the monsters are on screen, you'll just kind of, you run up to them and then you have a battle with them. Um, so you can explore the 
monsters world, the other world, you can also explore the real world, the school, you can roam around the school, you know, do side missions, there's mini games, you can talk to them on your phone, you can, you know, interact with different characters, the more you interact with certain characters, the more likely they'll be uh, on your side, that sort of thing. So there's quite a, a lot of side missions as well. One of the main things in the combat is this thing called Ether. I think that's how it's pronounced. It is basically like mana points. So that's how you do your magic, your more powerful skills. This recovers over time um, as you as you're doing stuff. There's also I completely forgot to mention, but there's this there's a, a bar on the top. You'll see it in the gameplay. There's a bar on the top, and each character and enemy kind of moves towards the center at the same speed, and as that character hits the middle that's the the time that that character can attack you can also use some of your growth your mana your magic points to attack some of the monsters and it'll kind of knock them back so it takes longer for them to attack you it's a pretty cool system to be honest and when you you start combining all your, your different characters and your different skills it can it can get pretty fun so with the main gameplay and stuff out of the way you know the graphics just to touch on the graphics a little bit they're okay they're not great they're not really bad but they're definitely nothing like special that they're just okay i mean this could definitely pass as a as a like late ps3 game to be honest it's really not a good looker then again it did come out a couple of months ago and it is also available on the vita so that kind of says a little bit but um so it's it's not the best looker um sound some of the the sounds are pretty cool some of the cutscenes are pretty cool Um, I, I, of course, I can't really comment too much on the Japanese voice acting because I don't understand it. Um, it is subtitled in English. It doesn't seem... When you look at the subtitles, sometimes you look at the subtitles and you're just like, what? That doesn't really make much sense. I didn't really notice anything too um, weird about the subtitles, so subtitles should be fine. Sometimes it can take a little while to load. I'm not sure why. I'm playing on the Pro and sometimes it took a little bit too long to, to load into some areas. But uh, once you're in the main areas, when you're exploring, they load relatively quick. It's just kind of when it's transitioning to the real world and the uh, the, old, the other world. So, you know, just final thoughts. Would I recommend it? Um, if you're into this kind of game and you don't mind really long cutscenes and a lot of dialogue and you kind of could be interested in the, the story itself, I could probably suggest it because, you know, and if you like RPGs, of course, I can suggest it then because you'll be into it, but um, I feel like if you like RPGs but you're just not interested, like I wasn't, the story, you could probably find other RPGs that are going to interest you a lot more than this one. That's kind of my final thoughts on the game. Um, I want to thank Koei and uh, Gust, of course, for sending me out a code re really early so I could get a review done, get it done before the game comes out. So uh, that's very nice of them, I always appreciate that. So uh, thank you Koei and thank you Gust. So I hope that uh, the, that was enough for you legends to decide on whether you feel like picking this game up or not. Um, as I mentioned, if you if you like those kind of kind of things, then you, you're probably gonna get some enjoyment out of this. Even I got enjoyment out of it because I liked the uh, the gameplay portions, but there was just so much of the text and stuff that it just kind of threw me off. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, legends. I do greatly appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you uh, didn't enjoy it, feel free to leave a thumbs down. Let me know what you did and didn't like about the review. Um, what do you like about the game? What do you dislike about the game? Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to wait? Uh, always reading comments, so feel free to let me know down there. I, uh, I always love reading comments. Also, if you want to see some of the gameplay with without me commentating over it and just kind of, I think it's like the first 45 minutes around. Um, not really much editing, but uh, if you want to see kind of the beginning let's just say hour of the game. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to my other channel where I do have a good 40 to 50 minutes of uh, pure gameplay. So check that out if you're interested. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button for more reviews, live streams, all that good stuff. I've been on the Legion TV. This has been Blue Reflection. Thank you for watching. 
and I'll catch you legends on the next review.